Now, there's a lot of to and froing about whether or not I would even be allowed to give a speech tonight. I was forced to submit early drafts of my intended speeches to Larissa and Scott for scrutiny and censorship. Now, most of these were rejected outright due to their atrocious content, and rightly so. A wedding is a time to celebrate the future and not dwell on events which may or may not have happened at the Splash Centre. <laughs> now, over the next 30 or 40 minutes, I plan to outline the pros and cons of this marriage and why I think that... I don't know what to do. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I've just been informed that the best speeches are short and sweet. Which is funnily enough how Scott was described on Police 10 7. <laughs> now, I'm pleased Scott and Larissa chose to include me in their wedding party and help celebrate this special occasion with them. And I know I certainly did myself no favours by trying to sleep with the Larissa for all those years. But that's what I've come to love about Scott. He's so forgiving. Forgiving and balding. When Scott first texted me and asked me if I'd like to be a groomsman, my first thought was, who's this? <laughs> but then it dawned on me that Scott and myself has shared some outrageous adventures over the years, and I was honoured to be included. They say a special bond forms between soldiers in wartime, and it's no different for Scott and myself. Except we weren't soldiers, we were scrap metal thieves, and we weren't at war, we were at the Castle Cliff dump. <laughs> Spending three hours locked inside an old chest freezer with someone while irate security guards hunt you gives you a lot of time for reflection and personal betterment. I realised two things that day. One, I never wanted to be locked inside whiteware again. And two, I found a friend for life. <laughs> Another one is what marriage life like, Marissa. <laughs> now, I'm not lecture. I'm not one to lecture anyone on love or the merits of marriage. God knows my life for the last few years has been a revolving door of strippers and cocaine. So instead of listening to empty platitudes from me, I asked some married friends for nuggets of advice and kernels of truth, which I could pass on to you guys. All right, Reese from Wanganui East writes. <laughs> Marriage is like a public toilet. Those outside are desperate to get in, and those inside are desperate to get out. <laughs> Glenn, Glenn from Auckland writes. Getting married was fantastic. She is my best friend. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> but also, I got to exclude people from the wedding and reception, which made me feel important. sealed the deal that Jamie was a secret cross-dresser, and by marrying him, I doubled my wardrobe. <laughs> Paul and Al from Wanganui write. Oh, they didn't have anything positive to say. Skip that one. All right, a lot of us here tonight, including some of his family, Jackie, expected Scott to die alone and penniless before he hit 30. So we have a lot to thank Larissa for. She's improved his posture, his personal hygiene, and I'm happy to say he hasn't been naked at a party for a few weeks now. So she is making progress on this animal. Now, all jokes aside, I'd like to say that marriage is not about finding someone you can live with, it's about finding someone you can't live without. So if everyone would like to join me in the toast, Raise your glasses or whatever have you what you have in front of you. Here's the love and laughter and a happily ever after. Scott Larissa.